everyone, it's Janet here with my June project for the Piece by Piece. And for this project, I made a mini book of my daughter's shower that we had for her. And this um, wood book came with a Maggie Holmes, I think it was from one of those um, de daily deals type of thing. I think it might have been from the Craft TV or something like that. And I got the book with the canvas bag, which was this bag that I decorated. And then it also came with Maggie Holmes crepe paper. And I used that some of that paper line and I also used several of the Echo Park paper lines because I wanted all of the bright colors. <clears throat> That's what we did the shower in. So here is the bag. I just embellished it up with some of Beverly's beautiful laces. I started back here with this beautiful yellow lace. I just love this lace and the color and it's real nice and wide. And then I have a coral lace along here and then some of this beautiful fluffy fuchsia trim here <clears throat> and then across the top I have some of the really wide lace it looks like this beautiful trim the thing I like about Beverly store she has some beautiful ivory and white and black trims but she also has lots of colors and I love color and I use a lot of the whites and the creams and the blacks but I, I love color when I when I need it too like in this project and so in order to sew on the bag because of course the bag was already assembled I just put another piece of canvas I just cut another piece out and I put all of this on that piece and then I glued that piece on with fabric glue <clears throat> so that's how I got the stitching around this banner this was a piece of fabric that and so was this that I used I made quite a few banners for the shower and so I just had a bag full of my little pieces of leftovers so that's what I used for this album and this was a chalkboard sign we had up it's all um, the Sun was kind of shining on it so it was hard to get a good picture but my niece did all of the coloring on it, it really turned out nice so I used a picture of that and then a picture of my grandbaby Jubilee Blythe and this was the shower for her so this is the bag and the mini album is supposed to fit in the bag I don't know if I'm gonna have any luck with that but anyway that is the intention I may have to change the binding in order to get it to fit in but I still wanted to make up the bag to match the mini album so that is the bag very simple to do and very fun and it really makes a nice project now for the book <clears throat> it's this nice wood album and I really really liked it. and I used one of the Kaiser Craft round wood embellishments under the picture this is my daughter when she was expecting and in the background you can see one of the banners I made with a lot of the fabric that you'll see scraps of in the album and of course had to use one of Beverly's beautiful heart resin pieces and I have a little some little flowers along here with some seam binding underneath kept it fairly simple and then I have this beautiful trim from Beverly store the piece by piece I just didn't think the wood album needed too much but I just wanted a little touch of lace on there so I thought that was the perfect touch and then along the top <clears throat> top ring I have quite a few pieces of the fabric and some more of Beverly's trim this is the yellow lace it's very pretty so I just added that for the color and then the album came with this little tag so I did a picture of Jubilee and this little trim here is some little beaded trim that Beverly has in her store in different colors and this is the pink a little flower there and on the back I have baby shower for Jubilee Blythe so that is what this mini album is all about so the front I just left I made a transparency envelope sewed around the edges and put some rickrack at the top and this is the invitation that we sent out so I just have a pocket here for it so very simple but I wanted to use the chevron we ended up using a lot of chevron in it and I just have it folded over with my private information down below and also to make it fit in the mini album so that just goes in there so that's all that the front page is and the second page is the sign with some more of that beautiful yellow lace. I think that's just one of my all-time faves. And then I just took a piece of fabric and kind of scrunched it in the middle underneath the picture. 
and then made the banner cuts on the side. So another simple page. Now this page is the guest sign-in book. And for the sign-in book, we used an old, I found an old vintage book that was in the colors of her shower. And so we had everybody just fill in that and just go around the edges. And it turned out really cute. And then this is a picture of my daughter and her husband. They had a photo shoot for their maternity pictures. So that is the sign-in page. And I used some of Beverly's beautiful lace along the bottom with some aqua velvet on top. And then this is also a little teeny piece. That's all I have left. That coral. I just love that trim. I have a magnet under here, but this just folds up. And then here's some more pictures. There's the book where everybody signed in. So one of our friends signing in. And then there's another picture. So that has a magnet there. And then this page, I use this beautiful mint scallop trim from Beverly Store with just a little um, pale yellow small rickrack on top of that. And this is all from Maggie Holmes collection, these little bows. I think they're so cute and the little stickers. So I just made a side pocket there. And then I have cards. And these are just different decorations. I took a dress form and put her clothes on the dress form and stuck a pillow in there for part of the decorations. It's a little chair and we hung the frame. I've seen that on Pinterest. I took a few pictures like that. Had a clothesline with clothes and the colors. And then we hung some windows from the end of the patio out overlooking the river. And then we, I had some of my banners in front of that. And that's where the sweet table went. And I used my craft table for the sweet table. It turned out nice. And this is a quilt that Leona Holmes had made and one of our friends bought it from her and gave it to my daughter. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of the teacup arrangements. So that's just some of the decorations. And so the next page is exactly the same. And this one just has a pull-out book. And these are the different tables. We had quite a few here. It was over 50. So we had several different tables. So just used old vintage books. My daughter likes the vintage with teacups and bottles with flowers and then just different other childhood things and also use pictures, some of their maternity photo shoot pictures. So these are some of the tablescapes. And I'll probably do a video with just my pictures with Tim Music like I did the last shower that I did. So I'll, I'll do that up probably the next few days and post it as well so that my niece Jessica did the pictures and she did a lovely job so I really want to showcase them. So there's the menu and so this has a couple of different pockets. It has a pocket here and a pocket here and along. I just made this kind of a shape here and used some of this beautiful chain like trim from Beverly store. thought it was so pretty. So in this back envelope I have like the op um, appetizers and the desserts here. I'll leave that out. And then I have another little book here that has the food in it. So that is that book there. And then over here is the dessert table. And then this has a book that pulls out. I kept the pages fairly simple, and that's one thing I loved about Beverly's laces is you can still keep it fairly flat without putting a lot of embellishments on it because I have a lot of pictures in this album and that's what I really wanted to showcase. So here is from the sweet table some more of that beautiful trim. I think that's all I have of that. It's so pretty. So here's some of the things from the sweet table here. So that is that one. And then of course we had to have a photo booth and there's my daughter with my granddaughter, which would be her niece. I thought that was so sweet. So we did a photo booth, and the chevron print is one of the parts of the photo booth with the banner in the background. And then I have just a lot of pictures in here. Um, this front one is of me and my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter and our friend Maria. And we are the ones that did the shower for her. So Sarah and Maria did all the food, and the food was fabulous. So they just... Was we were an awesome team, and the rest of the pictures. 
So most of the rest of the pictures are pictures of different people. So I won't show all of those, but I will show a couple of these. This is Haley in front of the picture frame. Thought that turned out nice. And this is my niece Jessica, the one that took all the pictures with her cousin. They're very good friends. So this was a fun photo shoot. And then on both of these, these were the Maggie Holmes um, photo Polaroid like um, little frames and that she really has some neat ones and so I use those on these two pages. So this is my sister-in-law and that's part of the photo booth. We had a ton of ton of props. It was really fun and I don't think we really have pictures of it all. Then more pictures inside here, a little booklet, um, but also I won't show those. So, and then we have this one here, I just made a book that attached to the page, and these are all of the gifts, and she was spoiled rotten. And so this was the, the gift table. It's really fun to use furniture for a party. I pulled an old chair out here and um, an old desk, and then use that for the gifts. So then this just pulls out and shows the gifts, and then it just ties right here. So that is that page, and this page is the same except for at the bottom of this one I have some of this beautiful um, deep orange coral color lace. I just love it. And this is one of the little Maggie Home bowl, Holmes bowls. And then this is some of the gifts that she got. We also had advice cards that everyone filled out and she read those and then we picked a winner of the best one of those so that was a fun little game that we did and then we also for our party favors a Maria made homemade strawberry freezer jam so that was the party favor so we gave those out at the end of the party and needless to say they were a big hit so the theme for the party was sweet baby girl so that's why we came up with that so that is the rest of my album and thank you so much for watching and as always I appreciate your comments and if you want to see more of the pictures check out the other video that I'll be doing of just the pictures. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!